A San Antonio nonprofit is caught in the middle of the Oscars controversy because of the name of its foundation. The Will Smith Foundation started here in 2007 to honor the life of a child who was lost too soon. RJ Marquez tells us, speaking with the founder of the organization, about why she wants to clear up any confusion about their mission. I really don't watch TV, and I certainly I didn't watch the Oscars. Susan Naylor Sellers, the founder of the Will Smith Foundation in San Antonio, was unaware of the backlash her nonprofit organization was receiving until early Monday morning. I started getting some really odd grant requests, um, people that wanted to fight me and or fight Will Smith. Naylor said she's received messages in the past confusing her foundation with the actor, but this was different. Very, very derogatory, childish almost comments about the actor. Naylor's foundation has no affiliation with the actor Will Smith. She started the foundation in 2007 to honor her eight-year-old son, William Smith, after he died in a car crash. Our mission statement is to provide positive life experiences for children. And for the past 15 years, the Will Smith Foundation has been helping out children in the community, keeping his name alive and continuing on his legacy. He got to be out outdoors and be around animals and fish and do things that you know, a, a lot of kids in South Texas get to do, but a lot of kids in South Texas don't get to do. A major part of the foundation's legacy is the Will Smith San Antonio Zoo School. Its new campus was named after William in 2018. I am proud that they honored Will that way and carried forward that mission of getting outside, loving each other, loving animals. That was Will. To date, the foundation has supported dozens of local nonprofits for children and will continue despite the recent mix up. It is important, I think, that San Antonio and the area know that this is their own son. Will was born here. This Will Smith has a kind, benevolent heart. RJ Marquez, KSAT 12 News.